for the month of June 2018. This is a general reading for Gemini Sun, Gemini Rising, or Gemini Moon. For a more rounded overview, please watch your rising and moon sign as well. Now, the second week you have a major card. This is the Empress card. So for some of you, there's a strong tie to a Taurus person. But if not, uh, perhaps this represents a mother figure, a wife, a woman that's important in your world. It could be an important project that you're working on. Uh, this could be somebody, you know, your employer or somebody who owns some land or somebody who is creative, somebody who has some power, some knowledge, some skill, some authority. She could also be your ideal woman, the woman of your dreams somehow. And this is a week where you are focused on creativity, creating something, whether that's, you know, working on a project. Uh, maybe you are resistant to having a child. Maybe you're trying not to get pregnant. Uh, or you are feeling the burden of motherhood, the responsibilities that come with being a mother. So you may be very focused on nurturing others, sharing your love, growing something that's important to you, whether it is a child or a project or a relationship. Uh, you could also be very concerned with the sensual side of life. And maybe there's some excess somewhere or you're being very restrictive. You're not allowing yourself to feel happy or feel good. Uh, and maybe because you're blowing something out of proportion about circumstances that were from last week. But this week focuses on your happiness and your well-being, creating a comfortable environment for yourself, nurturing your inner and your outer. So you may have some harmonious unions. Love could be a focus, healing, your, you know, your creativity, your affection for someone else, your sexuality, uh, or your willingness to help others. Now, maybe there's a resistance on someone's part to help, or there's an obligation to help someone. This says that it's a week for you to apply yourself in order to create and manifest. This is about attracting positive conditions that are fertile for what you want to produce. And you get a chance this week to smooth over your communication with someone or perhaps even develop a new relationship. Uh, so there is luck for you, there's opportunity, you're growing your talent, you're being very creative, and most importantly, you're putting forth the effort, you're planting the seeds. And this is something that takes time to grow. You're nurturing it. You're babying it. This is your baby. And so you're taking your time to make sure that you're laying that proper foundation before it manifests. So while you're not there yet, you are getting close and you're taking the steps and working toward that finish line. Now, this week, if you let go of some of your obligations, now you want to relax, you want to feel good. You have some opportunities that present for you financially or professionally. But if you were, you know, resistant to something and you were feeling as if you were overburdened and stressed and full of tension, it may be difficult for you to avoid some self-defeating behavior. You could abuse uh, some kind of uh, substance or you could eat too much or spend too much. Maybe you even allow other people to abuse your generosity. Uh, because this is a card of communication, it could be that you're involved in situations where someone is resistant to talking or perhaps they're talking too much. Uh, so this is all about a sense of balance uh, where you may have been too self-indulgent or too restrictive in what you're doing. Maybe you're eating too much or eating too little. This is a card that says somewhere you may be dealing in the extreme. And, you know, it could be any kind of vice that you're involved in, whether it's food, alcohol, drugs, sex, gambling, substance abuse, or, or enabling patterns with other people. You, you, maybe you're loving somebody too much or you're going too far. 
So you will have to be, in some cases, especially diplomatic, especially if people are on edge and there's tension. You're going to have to work harder to come up with some strategies that work, something that's going to help you uh, advance and, and something that's where you set the groundwork for the future, something that's going to pay off later and make a big difference, even though right now it may seem small and you may feel like you're in the beginning stages. Part of that may be stepping back from a situation, especially if you're working on a project and there's a lot of hard work and it's stressful or a relationship. It could just be you just simply need to step back for a moment, gather your wits about you so that you can regain confidence in what you're doing and step back in the game again. Now, if you're indulgent this week, you're resistant to, you know, doing what you should and applying yourself, uh, maybe there's something that you want, but you're not putting forth the effort to go after it and get it, you may set up something that reflects poorly on you, your reputation, uh, you know, your connections with other people. It's this apathy that creates a setback for you. You're just not motivated and it reflects poorly on you and your achievements. So this is a week to be optimistic about what the future holds, what you're doing, and applying yourself, not just waiting for it to happen. Now, this may have to do with a friendship. Again, it could be with this person or in collaboration with somebody working on a project, some partnership. Or for some of you, you know, this is a lot of, again, celebration, whether you're eating and drinking and, and partying, or maybe you've been working very hard and this week you really do need to focus on socializing and being more playful.